Hello YouTube, Bruno Lucia with GLB Productions. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're going to look at how to clean dirty microphone cables. Now, as always, the Christmas uh, New Year season is a busy time in Singapore for sound reinforcement in general. And I was going through some of our old cables and I found a few here that had been neglected. They'd been basically left on the floor in a basket for about six months and I don't know when they were cleaned before that so as a result they've picked up a really good coating as you can see there uh, of grime, dirt and so on. Now because the cable is black it does not look that dirty. I'll just give you a look of the other one here. Because the cable is black it does not look that dirty but it's important that you try and keep these things clean because if you don't, over time, the dirt will work its way into the rubber jacket and eventually it will get destroyed. If you keep your cables clean, you'll find that they will last 5, 10, even 15 years depending on um, whether they are coiled up nicely and how rough your clients are with them. But it is important to keep them clean in the same way that you wash your car or even yourself. Now the first thing that we have to get straight about cleaning microphone cable is that water and electricity do not mix. Remember, these are basically carrying electrical signals and as a result, you want to use as little water or other liquids as possible. Secondly, the coating of these is something that can be damaged by certain types of chemicals. So what I recommend is just plain old water. Water, despite its pedestrian nature, is actually an excellent solvent and removes most of the types of dirt and grime that you'll get on your cables in general. So what I do is, I take a rag, any old rag will do. A light colored rag is best because it shows the dirt and it will tell you when to stop cleaning. And what you do is, you find a rag doesn't have to be spotless as long as it's cleaner than the cables themselves. And you wet it and you wring it out really, really well. This is actually damp, okay? You don't want anything dripping, nothing like that, all right? We're not giving the cables a bath. We're trying to clean them. The next thing that you do is you, if there is something uh, like this, which is a Velcro keeper, all right, make sure that it is at the male end of the cable, all right? In this case, it's all become a bit of a mess, right? Uh, you don't want it near the female end because then when the artist is singing into the microphone that's plugged in here, they'll have this random bit of Velcro waving around just below their face and it looks very unprofessional. In this case, I'm probably going to replace this so we'll just take it off. While you're doing this, it's a good idea to inspect the cables and connectors in general, right? Look for uh, cuts, tears, uh, burns, melts in the outer jacket, and just generally inspect the uh, the cabling, the, the connectors themselves, right? Um, if the connector still works, there's no real need to replace it, right? With these connectors, what you'll tend to find is especially with the old style Nutrix is that this end boot tears and you can see an example of that here, all right? Now, this does not actually interfere with the functionality of the cable, but because it removes the strain relief, it's uh, generally a good idea to uh, replace the connector when this happens. All right, so you've got your dirty cable and you've got your clean rag. Usually what I do is I will begin from the male end, doesn't really matter which end you begin from, and you just give the connector a little bit of a wipe down. This is another reason why it's really important to use a rag that's just damp, okay? Because you don't want to get water in here and you don't want to get water anywhere where it can come into contact with electricity. Then what you do is you simply pull 
the cable through your cloth, all right? And you will see this kind of thing begin to appear, which of course is dirt. And you know, every, every so often just change around right? and keep on going, keep on going. And as you'll see, the, the cloth will tell you how dirty the cable is, right? On really dirty ones, this won't be gray, it'll be black, as I'm sure many of you know. Just changing sides here, and keep going. This is a five meter cable, so it won't be long before we get to the other end. Again, wipe down the cable, all right? And you can see that there's not quite as much black here, all right? So what we now do is we turn this over, find a clean patch, and we run back through the other direction, okay? Now, at this point, if you look, you'll see that there is still dirt coming off, and that's a signal to you that you've got to keep going, all right? And you run right through until you get back to the male end, right? Still lots of dirt coming off now. At this point, you've got to make a judgment call, right? If the cable looks clean, you can call it a day and say, all right, you know, we're, uh, we're not going to try and get things perfect. But what I like to do is I like to run through and, and just keep going backwards and forwards, especially if you don't know when the cable was last cleaned, all right? So this is third pass. You can see there's still dirt coming off, all right? So... Once again, go to a clean section. Some of these cables can get incredibly filthy. It's just quite, uh, quite tragic almost, right? Still dirt coming off, so that's our third pass. Go back into the cloth. I'm just working around the camera here. Back into the cloth. Sorry, bumped you there, bumped you again, my apologies. Keep going, keep going. And you can see that this there's still dirt coming off, but it's substantially less, all right? And we'll keep going there. Okay. Now, in my opinion, this is probably clean enough, all right? If you try to get everything spotless, you just end up uh, driving yourself nuts. So I call that clean, and you then move on to the next one. At this point, I'll show you how to clean the connectors. Now, with the connectors in general, it is most of the time okay if you just clean them with the same rag as you use to clean um, the rest of the cable. But for certain types of work, especially corporate work, it's important that the connectors actually look new. And for that, I just use denatured alcohol, right? And the reason for this is that A, it's a very good solvent, and B, it evaporates quickly, so you don't have the trouble with it getting into stuff and causing problems. So, you know, you take a good amount there, and, you know, you just rub it all over the connector. Because it evaporates quickly, you don't have to worry about getting it into the holes and that kind of thing, right? And make sure that you do the, the rubber boot down here. Because unfortunately, this is the part of the PA system that the artist does see. And if you have grotty cables, this is the first thing that they'll notice. So again, you know, this is relatively clean to begin with. But you can see that, yeah, maybe a little, little bit of dirt came off. And um, that's a nice clean connector. Uh, good enough for government work, as they say. Okay, I've got a, another one here. This is a guitar jack, and this one I know for sure has never been cleaned. So, same thing. Uh, take some denatured alcohol. You can also use isopropyl alcohol. And you really want to work it in there, right? And just give all the surfaces a good wipe. Some people use electrical contact cleaner. Uh, that's basically, uh, you know, similar. can also be used. And with the guitar cables, you really want to get in that groove where the contact arm sits, right? This groove right in here. And you just give it a good scrub. There you are. All right. And you can see with that one, probably a bit more dirt came off. But the main thing is that it helps to give the, uh, you know, clean the, the dirt and grime off the connector 
where it might possibly interfere with the electrical connection. All right, well, that's how you clean dirty microphone cables. As you can see, it's a laborious but fairly straightforward process. The key is, I think, to do it regularly. Remember that even if your cables don't see all that much use, they still pick up dirt and grime when they're in storage. So in my opinion, you should probably clean them once every six months or so. If you do this, you'll find that your cables last a very, very long time. I've got cables that have gone through three or even four sets of connectors just because we uh, regularly clean the jackets as you saw in this video. This is Bruno Luce for GLB Productions. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.